Good morning. Today for your morning journal, I'm gonna be reading another story. Today we're gonna read, There's a Fly Guy in My Soup. So, let's get started. There's a Fly Guy in My Soup by Ted Arnold. So, is this going to be fiction or nonfiction? Is it gonna be real or fake? Hmm. We know that these are fiction. They're not real. This didn't really happen. There's a Fly Guy in My Soup by Ted Arnold. Especially for the Beecher Doll Club and everyone at the Arnett Art Museum. So it was dedicated to those people. A boy had a pet fly. He named him Fly Guy. And Fly Guy could say the boy's name, Buzz. Chapter One. One day, Fly Guy went with Buzz, Mom and Dad, on a long trip. They drove until dinner time. They stopped at a hotel. Yay, said Buzz. I love hotels. Okay, before I move on, can you tell me what these are called? What are those called? And what are they used for? When do we use them? They're called quotation marks. Say it with me, quotation marks. And they're used when somebody's speaking in the story. For example, here Buzz said, yay. And he said, I love hotels. Hotel, restaurant, and pool. Cool room, said Buzz. Time for dinner, said Dad. There's a nice restaurant downstairs, said Mom. But Fly Guy can't go there. Why can't Fly Guy go to the restaurant? Fly Guy can eat outside, said Buzz. Right, Fly Guy? Yes. Fly Guy flew outside. He found a trash can. He found a puddle. And he found a sticky spot. He's flying all over the place. Hotel trash. He found the biggest, slimiest garbage can ever. Hmm, would you like that? But he didn't find anything that he wanted to eat. Chapter two. Then Fly Guy smelled something wonderful. What do you think he smelled? Fly Guy followed the smell. At last, he found where he wanted to eat. Uh-oh. Where does he, where did he end up? What does he like? Oops, messy. Fly guy needed to wash before dinner. He's too messy. He spied a small round bathtub with warm brown water. Perfect. That's not a bathtub, what is it? Fly guy jumped in. He washed his face and hands. Uh-oh. He washed his armpits. He's doing a good scrub. He washed between his toes. Ew. <laughs> Chapter three. Fly Guy's bathtub was picked up and carried to another room. There goes his bathtub. It was set down on a table in front of a lady. The lady screamed, Waiter, there's a fly in my soup. And look, we're using an exclamation mark because she's saying that with a lot of emotion. The lady jumped up her soup and Fly Guy went flying. 
into another lady's soup. That lady jumped up, her soup, and the first lady's soup, and Fly Guy went flying. Onto a gentleman's head. Uh-oh. The gentleman jumped up, the soup, and Fly Guy, and the gentleman's hair went flying. He even lost his hair. Everyone jumped up. Everyone's soup and fly guy and the gentleman's hair went flying. Everybody, everybody's getting dirty. Fly guy still needed a bath. Buzz, mom and dad needed a bath. Everyone needed a bath. Last one in the pool is a rotten egg, yelled Buzz. Do they look happy? Mm -mm. Hotel Bunzy. They're all cleaning up now. For your journal today, I'm gonna ask you to think, what did you think of the book? Did you think the book was funny? Was it gross? Was it silly? What did you think of the book? I want you to tell me. And then I also want you to tell me what you would do if you found Fly Guy in your soup. How would you react? What would you do? Okay, have a good one.